What's up, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel again and as I promised last time we're gonna jump right into the wheels. Some of you know that I have the Clans Vishnu wheels, I got them with the car and we're taking them apart today and we're gonna do some customization and what I mean with that is custom paint. But I began to dig into the wheels a little bit and the state of the wheels are, I should have said this, terrible. We have the center of the wheel and if you don't know how the Transvisional looks, they look like this. We're gonna take them apart today, as I said, and we're gonna try to paint them. Um, we have the inner section, the center section, and then we have the polished lips above this but I thought this would be uh, like a quick fix and uh, just add some primer and then some paint mm -mm. no 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 okay something that's cool is that it's still the manufacturing labels on there so the label from 2007 is still on there and the certification of wits is on there they are 19 by 9 i have a positive uh, offset of 47 but look at the state on the inside of the barrel we have glue everywhere and i think i have to weld these up because look at the state on the edges i have to Cut this away and sand it and grind it nice. Balance up the uh, wheel again and weld the missing material off. But wait, 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 Christian. Why destroy such an epic good looking wheel? That's a really good question. So the faces on the wheels are chrome. And if you take a look on the car, uh, we don't have so much of uh, chrome on the car. So try to picture this instead. So we're gonna blend in deep black with green pearl, then a little spicy spice from the yellow. That's gonna be a good combo with the green and yellow on the car. Hmm, okay, you're onto something. I like how you're thinking. But dude, what's up with the polished lips then? <laughs> dude, that's a really good question. The lips were really, really bad. I'm gonna try to put in a picture right here. Me and a buddy of mine tried to polish them up, but we didn't get the scratches out. A company called Lacktimet in Sweden helped us out uh, and they have special machines to do this polished lips. Let's unpack the box. I haven't seen them yet. Or, okay, I took a sneak peek, of course. They look really sick. <laughs> look at these lips. They did a great job and they are shiny again. And we had a lot of scratches on the side that they polished out and fixed for us. So this uh, is the lips that we are gonna go onto the wheels. Even made the edges look perfect again. They were really beat up. We're gonna move over to the barrels and prepare them for uh, primer. It's gonna be a hell of a job because they look as bad as the lips did when I sent them away. So the upcoming steps is, first of all, take off all the labeling and glue that is inside the barrel. After that, we're gonna begin to grind away and smooth out the imperfections on the edges. We're gonna have to add some welds onto the edge because they are pretty rough and step three is begin to sand away inside the barrel and outside the barrel and make everything silky smooth and nice i think i'm gonna start at 120 grit i'm gonna of course finish off with the 320 grit before primer step number four is to sand down the primer and prep everything for paint so let's go so guys, we're in the paint booth. I jumped from the one position to the other really quick, but I didn't want to bother you too much. The sanding part and the welding and the grinding of these edges took forever. Now they're done for primer. I'm happy with the edges on all four. I have some other stuff that I'm gonna put primer on, but first of all, wax and grease remover, always. Oh, 
We're in the paint booth and I put on two layers of primer. That was enough. Um, came out really good. We're gonna let them cure over the night and uh, tomorrow morning we're back at it again. Sand it once more and prep it for paint this time. But uh, see you in a few seconds. And it's the next day and we're gonna go into the paint booth and see if the stuff has cured. Of course, it's cured. It's been overnight. Here are the barrels. Looks nice. It's it's almost that it looks really cool with just the matte black. But no, we're gonna do our own design. And um, over to using my triceps a lot again and sanding down the barrels by hand as good as I can to prep them for paint. So let's. So guys, as usual, use wax and grease remover. We cleaned them up. We took the anti-stacking aragon. We prepared the barrels for a white uh, sealer. I need to have the white sealer because the yellow paint uh, is so bad in coverage. So we're putting in down a white sealer first, then the first stage of yellow, second stage of yellow, and then clear coal. Sealer has now cured for like eight to ten minutes. Now it's the first step, and that's the base yellow. Uh, I'm gonna put on two really thin coats of color because I don't want to build up too much on the barrels. So let's go. So a thin coat. I'm gonna let this dry for 10 minutes, then the second coat of the same color, and uh, then over to the magic. The base yellow has cured and it's ready for the second stage of yellow, and that's with a lot of pearl. There is when the shine is happening, so let's put that coat on. So that's gonna cure for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna go sand some other parts and just let it dry. And then time for clear coat. Now we're gonna put two thin coats of clear on the yellow. And then tomorrow we can begin to sand it down again. It is a little bit hard to make this uh, process, I don't know, interesting to look at, but the barrels are finished with the clear coat. But uh, this is how the barrels came out. And I think it looks really, really good. The camera doesn't give this color any justice at all. It's really, really sparkling. It looks like gold. I don't know if you remember how bad these barrels looked, but they are pretty nice now. So you can see the outside of the barrel, and what I'm meaning is that this outer edge was completely, completely damaged on almost all four barrels. Uh, I think this one was the worst one. Yes, and you can see how snug and nice, no imperfections at all. I'm gonna let this dry for tonight. Tomorrow we can sand down the clear coat and do the final design. Let's go home. Later. Yellow is laid and the clear coat has cured. 
So what I'm gonna do now is sand down the barrels yet again uh, and then we're gonna add my design. So I'm not gonna bother you with the sanding part because it's exactly the same that we did with the primer. And then we're gonna put down the design that I have had in my mind since I began with this build. So I guess over to the design. Of course, first I'm gonna wash them off with uh, grease and wax remover. And this is how the barrel looks right now. Uh, I sanded it down as I told you before and now I've cut out the stencils that I have so I have a big color here and these are my pieces and I don't know if you can see it but this is my stencil so I'm gonna take this plastic sheet use that to fetch up my design that I have here the the pattern that I have here I'm gonna transfer it onto the barrel around the whole intersection of the barrel and then I'm gonna take away bits and pieces of it. The hexagons I'm gonna keep and then you can see here, yep, so the inner lines I'm gonna take away. And I'm starting to regret my choice of doing a custom design on the wheels and on the barrels. Because first of all, it was a hell of a job to get them in good condition to be able to paint. And now I'm doing this. But hey, if you're stupid, you're stupid, right? So let's go over moving the pattern onto the barrel and see how that's gonna go. And now I fit it onto the barrel. So I'm gonna move over to doing the next one, the next one, until they meet again up here. And I'm just gonna put you on a time lapse because this is gonna be boring as hell to look at. And then up next is removing the inner liners of the hexagons. <laughs> As you can see in the time lapse, it's a tedious work and it takes forever. I think this took 40 minutes just to prep it for paint. What we're gonna do now is go into the paint booth and uh, we're gonna add the black paint on this. And I'm gonna do thin, thin coats over the whole barrel. And then we're gonna sit down and I guess that's gonna take like an hour just to get everything away again. So all the hexagons are getting off after the black paint has dried then the hexagon are gonna be yellow. And finally we can put down some black paint on the barrels. So join me in the paint pool. Wow, 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 taking all these hexagons off <laughs> took me an hour, I think. So I'm gonna mark up uh, where I want to fade in the black and the green pearl. And I made some dots all around in the circle. As you can see, the black dots here. I'm gonna take some blue masking tape, thin one, and then I'm gonna mask up the yellow and I'm gonna fade in with the black. I know it's really hard to explain, but See you in the paint booth when we're fading in the black. As you can see, I masked off this area and I don't want any black to come on to this area where I masked it. So we're gonna shoot with black on the inside and the outside. Then we're gonna take um, the green pearl 
on the whole area of the wheel or on the barrel. And then we're gonna demask it. And I'm gonna fade in the black around the whole barrel and wait until you see the results. And then we have to wait again to it to dry. And we're gonna do this on all four, so it's gonna take a lot of time. But enough of you guys who are watching this, you're gonna be able to just skip right to it. What we're gonna do now is taking my airbrush and making these sharp edges a little bit more soft, I guess. Now you can begin to see my vision. I made a little different design of it. And keep in mind, I have green pearl on the black. It's gonna be shimmering green sparkles. And this is how it looks right now without clear coat. We're gonna let this dry over the night and then we can finally put some clear on these barrels. So you can see that I made a special design here that's to piss off all the people that has OCD. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit different than every, everybody else. I went for the faded look and I went for the piss off the OCD people. Oh, it's Sunday afternoon and it's finally time for a clear coat. I'm gonna mix up a clear coat that cures very, very fast because I'm gonna put down thin, thin layers. In this stage, it's absolutely crucial not to have any runs whatsoever. Otherwise, I'm I'm kind of you screwed, you know? Just for reference, this is the Xerox S5000, and then we're gonna have the S6030, a uh, very fast activator. So let's mix up some clear coat and see you in the paint booth. So the barrels are not in the finished state because we need to sand down them again and then put on some more clear coat. But I'm going to spare you of that. But this is how they came out with the first couple of layers of clear coat. The rest we're going to see when we put the wheels together. But if you're still in the video, thank you for watching until the end. And uh, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. But right now, I'm gonna reveal my design on the barrels. But as I always say, have a good morning, good evening, or a good night, wherever you are.